Hello, my name is Robert Russo and I'm a rheumatologist and I work at BJC Health. Today I'm going to ask our physiotherapist, Miss Rachel Butterworth, to show us the hip abduction test. This is a useful test in the assessment in patients with ankylosing spondylitis. So with that, Rachel. Thanks Rob. So I'm going to show you the uh, hip abduction test that we use for assessing hip movement in ankylosing spondylitis. So the first thing we do is have the patient lying flat on the bed. Then we have a board here uh, to allow for more movement than what the bed can cope with. Uh, so the first thing we're going to ask the patient to do is keep the legs nice and straight, feet pointing to the ceiling, and they're going to separate their heels as far out as they can. And what you're going to do is measure from one medial malleolus to the other side and measure what that is. Thank you, Rachel, for that fantastic demonstration of the hip abduction test. So what range did Errol have? Errol measured at 108 centimetres. Is that a normal range? Uh, it's a little bit below normal. Uh, 120 centimetres is what we would express as a, a good value. Uh, but 108 centimetres just shows that he has mild restriction in his hip joints. Does that mean Errol has ankylosing spondylitis? No, definitely not. There's a lot of other investigations that need to be done to clarify if Errol would have ankylosing spondylitis. Well, thanks again, Rachel, for showing us the hip abduction test. 